So here's my review of the out of box uh, M3 rear view mirror camera. It comes with a couple extra straps in the back. Straps go right there. The camera has one camera right there in the back of the mirror. A couple different settings, toggle buttons. There's the mirror itself. You peel it off and it looks a little bit better. It does have that bubble right there. The backup camera goes on your license plate holder. Pretty easy, really small cable so you can easily loop it in through wherever you're going to be putting it in. Uh, it just mounts on your bracket. That connects to this piece right there. Make sure you do line up the arrows. There are some arrows. It's hard to see but there's an arrow right there. And then if you keep turning there's an arrow on that one right there as well. Make sure those arrows do align together. This part is the one you're going to run all the way either underneath your car or on top of your car and then that plugs into the back of the camera. You also do get the cigarette lighter out there. Cigarette lighter just plugs in, that's what gives it power. Uh, you get a USB connector right there. Rear view goes right there, then the power goes in there, and then you have other um, settings in there for an SD card and a GPS. Pretty nice, pretty easy, we'll do the setup here in a second. So here's the car that I'm installing, it's the Saturn View. I uh, went ahead and took out, let's see if we can see it, one of these lights right there, the license plate lights. I also drilled a hole in there to run this. This is going to set nice and flush right there. One of the things I don't like is that it's really close to my backup button. So once it's set up, I'm really going to have to squeeze my finger in there to hit that uh, backup button. But I drilled a hole in there. So took the whole paneling out, as you can see in there. The hole was drilled right through there. So you can see where that cable is going to come in. I'm going to have to run this cable through the top. Uh, one thing that's a little hard on this car is that the, it does have like that hatchback door. Uh, most doors you just open it and you're immediately right there to where your reverse lights are going to be because you do have to power it to the reverse lights. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult getting it through here. Probably going to run it in there through there so it, it does take some installation it was a little bit uh, more harder than I thought it was gonna be but I'll run the cable through in here through there through there out here run it all the way out here so it connects with the light and then I'll show you where I'm at so in this part I went ahead and took the light um, right there is where my rear view light turns on so we need to run the ground and the power to it so I have the power already hooked up with one of these. These are really cool clamps. Some people love them, some people hate them. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use one. It has two different holes. You run your wire through the middle one, that way you don't have to splice it or anything, through the left one, sorry. Then you barely put your other wire that you wanna connect bridge to it. And then you close this thing up, close it, and it locks it in. And then you have two wires that are just connected to one did it with the red. With a multimeter I went ahead and grounded it on one side, tested both of the cables, found out that one was going to be my hot wire, this was going to be my ground, my negative. So everything was pretty good and up to par. Like I said, this one slides around in there and then this one goes in there. Once it's in there you can either close it, I like to use a set of pliers just to give it a little, let's see, I don't know if you guys can see this. goes in there, you grab your pliers, and then you just give it a gentle squeeze. Now they're connected, and they should have power to them now. Close the little clip, and done. I ran mine through the grommets in here, through there, all the way up to there. So, so far this is set up. Just a quick overview. Um, I went ahead and I'm gonna wire it from the front to the back. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of wire here and then run it all through the trim over here, run it through there, and then all the way through the rubber grommets, all the way to the back of the car. This little wire for the backup camera is very long, so I wanna go ahead and just um, keep as much of the wire in the back than over here, because you're gonna end up with a whole lot of wire here and not know what to do with it. You don't wanna cut it or anything, so I do recommend starting here in the front and then just wiring it through the top or through the bottom if you're gonna run it through the bottom, just to make sure. I do suggest having some uh, nice panel removal tools like these. These will really help the job be easier and it'll help you from uh, scratching your car, messing things up, 
these are very easy very cheap on amazon but yep running it through the top in there and then just leaving this little bit of wire um, that way i can connect it and plug it if there's a little bit i can just throw it out the back and you won't be able to see but i don't want a whole bunch of wire up front so far i got it just set up over here trying to test it out um, you can see it's recording or has the camera going forward let me go ahead and put the car in reverse immediately put the car in reverse and you can see uh, I have the tailgate up so shoot it might be a little bit harder to see but put the car in reverse and that popped in put it back on drive so I have those hooked up properly once again put the car in reverse automatically pops it up make sure you do keep your brake uh, foot on the brake and everything and let's go back forward so so far it's working great as you can see uh, like I said I ran it through the top all the way through there through the top you can't see it at all all the way through here that's where you can see both the ends meet but look at how much extra cable there is let's see if I can kind of just pull it all out and show you how much extra cable there is and that's looped around twice so that's why I'd again recommend that you wire it from the front to the back because if not you're gonna have all this extra cable right there that's a lot of extra cable, uh, which is great if you have a bigger SUV, if you have a longer car, but it's a smaller vehicle here. It's a uh, small SUV. Um, but yeah, look, there's a lot of extra cable there, so make sure that you definitely do um, run it from the front to the back. All right, so finished running all the wires through the top and through the other side. I ran, you can't see them at all though, but there's the power, and then there's the rear view mirror. Uh, the rear view camera so i ran the power through the top all the way through the trim through there down the side all the way down there uh, underneath the cabin coming all the way down here that's the only part i don't like so far i have it running just underneath through the carpet to here um all the way down there it does take up some room and everything what i'm eventually going to do is uh, wire this to the fuse box that way it's not here, it's not taking up any power. My uh, cigarette outlet stays on, even when the car's on, which can recharge this, but I think with time it's gonna just drain it down. So all the wires are very neatly here. You can't see it going over the top or anything. Um, fairly easy installation. Like I said, all the wires are completely gone. There's the camera right there. A lot larger than the previous one as you can see there's the previous one it's a whole lot larger but uh, let's give it a let's give it a go haven't tested it out yet fully there it is with the car it's turned on let's throw this on reverse uh, it might not be on I think I turned it off earlier when I was installing it so let's find out there we go so I did turn it off insert SD I don't have one so as I reverse you can see it it's working pretty good once you go forward it'll start showing what's in front it does have different options like the picture to picture um, right there but after a couple seconds of going forward it'll automatically turn off let's make sure I don't hit anything so so far so good I I really like it I'm gonna use it for a while there it goes it turns off by itself after going forward for a while a lot of coverage so if you have kids or anything it's a really good camera again i'm gonna flip it to reverse and boom that turns on automatically since we wired it to the rear of your lights and you can see it tells you when to stop uh gives you a good little range so great small camera i really like it hope you guys uh, like it as well